morning. It's Monday morning. It's officially the start of week three of the readathon, which is crazy. Time flies. Um, heading to the office. Um, Karina's back, so excited to see her. Um, I got a bunch more of Before the Devil Breaks you read last night. Really enjoying it. Definitely gonna finish that today. I've brought Grey Wolf Island with me, so hopefully I'll read a bunch of that on the train. But yeah, busy day at work. Gonna edit, edit last week's vlog. Have a live show. Have a new person starting. Uh, book club updates. All sorts of things going on today, so excited to be back now. It's a beautiful day. Bring on the sunshine. Hello, so it's just after one o'clock. Um, and I'm going for a little bit of a walk because I need to uh, uh, re-read or re-listen to um, the section of Four Dead Queens I need to put up for book club today. So I am just going for a stroll to do that. And uh, yeah, let's do some cat spotting while I walk around here today. So, all right, so it is almost it? three. Almost three. And Karina and I are gonna go do coffee with Algrate, which we usually do in the morning. But today was weird. Still got coffee. Still got coffee. But look over here, we have a fresh face <laughs> and a crystal face. This is Shanley. Oh, wow. She's going to be helping Crystal doing some customer service stuff. And it's been a while since we've had a new face in the office, so we're all very excited. <laughs> but yeah, so Karina and I are going to go live and uh, chat with you guys for a while. Good evening. Uh, I just got home from work. Uh, we had a really good afternoon. Karina and I did a live show. It was really nice to meet Shanley for the first time today. I'm super excited for her to be on board. I think she's going to fit in very well with our team. Um, uh, reading update. I read some more Grey Wolf Island. It, I'm on chapter 7. So I'm only 56 pages into that, but I'm enjoying it so far. It is, so far, giving me kind of Raven Boys vibes and I'm not mad about it. Um, and then I've also continued my listen to Before the Devil Breaks You. I think I'm gonna probably finish this tonight. I only have like 50 or so pages left. I'm on chapter, I don't know, I'm on page 497. So about 50 pages left, really enjoying it so far. Don't know how it's gonna end, so we'll see. Um, <clears throat> that's kind of the update for now. I believe tomorrow we have some YouTube filming to do. Um, I need to finish editing the vlog that was supposed to go up today, but I'm almost done, so it will go up tomorrow. So I'm a little bit more efficient than I was last week. Um, anything else happened? Nothing else happened. I ordered a duvet yesterday, so that should be arriving tonight. I probably won't show you that because nobody cares about my new duvet. Um, but yeah. So that's my check-in for the night. I will talk to you tomorrow. Hello. So I said goodbye for this vlog tonight already, but uh, my book outlet order arrived, even though I wasn't expecting it to arrive until Thursday. Got a lot of it when the mail is faster than you think. So I'm gonna open it up and show you what I got. <laughs> All right. Well, let's. First thing I got is a copy of Watchmen by Alan Moore. Um, this is like a classic graphic novel. I read this, oh my god, I read this 10 years ago and I've never owned my own copy. So and I saw it on Book Outlet, I picked it up. So I finally have my own copy of Watchmen. Um, this is a classic for a reason. I really enjoyed it when I read it. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then I got uh, Lock and Key Small World. I actually don't know if this is part of the actual Lock and Key graphic novel story. I think it might be following the actual um, uh, series of Lock and Key, but you don't see Lock and Key on cheap for often, so I picked this one up as well. Um, I still need to read the last uh, volume of Lock and Key, but then I'll read them all and I can get to this one. And then uh, I previously pre previously mentioned in a different vlog that I ordered volumes four and five. This is kind of my main reason for this order of um, The Girl from the Other Side. I'm super obsessed with these. I think probably binge read all four of these fairly soon. And then I got 
Immortal Rain, which is the sixth book in the Fallen Kingdom series. I've read the first five and um, I kind of fell out of love with it by the end, but I definitely still want to figure out how it ends. So now that I have this uh, cheap copy, I can finally figure out how the story goes. And last, but certainly not least, is uh, Vengeful by Victoria Schwab. So I didn't get the Vengeful box. I don't know why. And I haven't read Vengeful yet because I really need to reread Vicious before I read Vengeful. And I just haven't done it yet. But they had cheap copies of Vengeful on Book Outlet. So I bought it. And now this is maybe, maybe be the kick in my pants I needed to reread Vicious before I read this beauty. So that is six books that came in my Book Outlet order. I love Book Outlet. I use it probably too often one would say but it's just a good time and everybody loves a cheap book Steven likes my new boobay good kitty Alright, it's my first vlog clip of the day. There is a groaning child in the background. <laughs> uh, Karina and I are the only ones in the office. Well, that's not true. Karina and I and Rowan are the only ones in the office today. Um, he's been mostly good, contrary to what you're hearing right now. <laughs> yeah. Rowan, you gotta, you gotta be happy for the camera. Yeah? Oh no. <laughs> Tiki! Oh! <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> hey friends! So, <laughs> being a bad, bad blogger this week, for real this time. Um, so, I didn't think I didn't think I vlogged it all on Tuesday. And then yesterday I took one clip because I forgot my, I forgot this camera at work. So I couldn't take any more vlog clips. So, failure. But, I just want to update and say I've finished a couple books. I finished um, Love, Life, and the List by Casey West. Um, oh, sorry, that's, I think that's all I finished. And I've also, I'm almost finished The Amulet of Samarkand by Jonathan Stroud, um, which is like kind of a more classic YA series that I'm enjoying enough. Um, it's Thursday and I'm in the office. Karina's still upstairs, but she'll be coming down soon. I'm just finishing I am um, editing our Saturday video, which is a Q&A with Karina. Um, I think I'm gonna order, like skip the dishes for lunch because I'm hungry and tired and I have a headache today and it's super rainy and my feet are wet and I deserve lunch to be brought to me. Um, but yeah, so alone in the office right now. But I'm just rendering a video and I'm gonna upload that and then I think Karina and I are gonna do some planning for BookCon, which is gonna be here before we know it. So I'm not gonna forget the phone, um, the camera today because uh, today is my last day in the office until Monday because it's Easter weekend. Um, so I'll bring, make sure to bring the camera home so I can vlog over the weekend. But I will check in with you guys later today. Good evening. Okay, so I promise I'm gonna be a better vlogger this weekend than I've been this week. It's been a rough week. It actually hasn't been that rough. I just have been crap at vlogging. But I thought I'd update a couple things that I have finished since the last time I talked to you. So first I finished Fame, Fate, and the First Kiss by Casey West. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a pretty big Casey West fan. I love all of her books. They're super fun and like really easy to get through. This is basically like the book form of candy. Um, it wasn't my favorite of Casey West's work, but like I said, it was quick, it was sweet, and it was what I wanted, so. Another Casey West book to add to my collection. Um, the other book I have finished is uh, The Amulet of Samarkand. Samarkand? Yes, Samarkand by Jonathan Stroud. Um, this is a series I've heard of for a really long time and I happened upon it at the thrift store so I picked it up. Um, it's apparently set in a modern day London, but it feels like it's set in like 
30s or 40s London, which is interesting. That's just kind of the way I pictured it. But it's about a young boy magician who is an apprentice and he kind of goes beyond his skill set and trouble ensues. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I don't know if I'll continue with the series, probably not right away anyways, but for now, I enjoyed it. Um, the next thing I'm picking up is uh, Suburban by James S.A. Corey. Uh, this is the fourth novel in the Expanse series, and I've only got through the first chapter so far, but that's okay. First so far, so good. Um, I have tomorrow, uh, Saturday and Sunday off um, for the long weekend, so hopefully we'll get a whole butt ton of reading done over the weekend, and uh, yeah, no, no exciting plans this weekend. But oh my gosh, what was that? Why are you scared? Why? For some reason, Stephen just got completely scared. Come here. You weirdo. I'm gonna hang out with Steven. It's pretty crappy weather outside, so... I don't know what we're gonna do this weekend. We're just gonna cuddle, aren't we? We're just gonna cuddle. Yeah, I spent some time cuddling Rowan today. Oh, actually, um... I said I was gonna order food in my last clip, but that didn't end up, that didn't end up happening. Uh, Karina, Robert, and I ended up going out for breakfast at like 1.30. <laughs> um, and just had, did some planning for BookCon and Y'all West and starting to feel a bit more confident about what's happening at those events. All right, so that is my probably last clip of the night. Ugh, cat hair. It was a tiring day and I'm just gonna chill out for the evening. So hopefully we'll talk to you tomorrow. Good morning. Uh, actually, it's 12.30, so not morning. Um, I'm just about to leave the house to go buy some groceries and stuff, do some errands. Um, I have my audiobook of Cibola Burn going, and I've also brought um, Grey Wolf Island with me. I haven't had any coffee yet today, so I'm thinking I might stop at a coffee shop, get a coffee, and read my book for a little while. So yeah, that's the plan for now. Hello! So, I meant to do this update a couple hours ago, and then I forgot, but here we are. Um, I went out and did all my errands. I didn't end up getting coffee because the coffee shop was so busy. Steve. Um, so I just like got a coffee to go, so that wasn't interesting. Um, but I did a bunch of errands, a bunch of grocery shopping, I made dinner, I have garlic shrimp, and um yeah, I've been listening to my audiobook all day for Sable to Burn. I've made a really good progress on this. I'm on page 452. I think I have about five hours of the audiobook left. Um, which I listened to on double speed, so I may or may not finish it tonight. Um, for another two and a half hours of listening. Um, I also am reading volume two of, uh, The Girl from the Other Side. This is really beautiful. Just so beautiful. It's not very text heavy, so it's a very, very quick read. Um, so if you're looking to get into a manga, this is one I would, I would give a go, because it's just so atmospheric and interesting. I'm just, I have no idea where the story is going to go, but I quite love it. I have all five volumes now, so I think I'm going to fly through this series pretty fast. Um, that's kind of all it for today. Um, it's a long weekend, so that's nice. Get to sleep in a few days in a row. Um, Steven has a vet appointment on... Hey! Hey! <laughs> on um tomorrow it's actually steven's birthday today um he is six years old um so well it's i don't think it was actually i don't know exactly the day he was born but i'm estimating that today is his birthday i've always done april 18th um so you know maybe some extra treats for him tonight but yeah he has a vet appointment tomorrow just like a standard checkup like nothing nothing serious is going on and i got him this like fancy Oh, sorry, bud. <laughs> Smacked him in the face. This fancy cat carrier that has like fold down walls so it gets bigger. How cool is that? So, hopefully, here's it. What's this, Steve? What's this? Is this Steve? Get 
Um, he is, of course, tacking pieces of paper because that's what he does. So he seems pretty satisfied with this, although we've been playing in it, so I feel like every time I go to put him in it, he's gonna attack me, <laughs> which is probably not what you want in a cat carrier. But yeah, kind of I'm happy with this. I've literally needed a new cat carrier since he was a kitten. I've had the same one. He is far too big for the other one I have, so get this fancy new cat carrier. Look at you. This is your birthday present. How about that? <laughs> even like, even like in here, it's so soft. It's so soft. Get it, Steve. No, all right. Okay, so I'm going to keep listening to my audiobook and then watch some YouTube and just chill out this evening. It's beautiful outside, so I might go for a walk later or something. But just a quiet day in my world. So I'll talk to you again soon. Good morning. Ooh, this is a look this morning. Um, had a little bit of a lion this morning, um, having a cuddle with Steven. It's like 11, I wanna say. Um, and it's a beautiful day outside. You can't even see because it's so sunny. Um, uh, the vet just called and they've moved Steven's appointment a bit earlier. Um, so his appointment's at 1.15. So until then, I think I'm just gonna bang around my house and uh, make myself some lunch and uh, yeah listen to my audiobook I finished so at this point I think I finished all but one of the classes um the only one I haven't finished is um history of magic which is a book that is more than 10 years old um but I will be finishing that so at this point I'm just reading kind of whatever I want and then at the end of the readathon I think I'm going to go through all the books I read during the month of April and just like slot all of my books into the various classes um, as much as I can um, and see how it turns out. But so now, so this is, this is basically just turning into just a reading vlog now. <laughs> um, I'm listening to the fifth book in the Expanse series now. I finished um, Cibola Burn last night and then immediately downloaded the uh, fifth book because yeah, girl is addicted. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's kind of all I'm doing right now. I'm yeah, just gonna make myself some coffee and some lunch and then we will head out into the beautiful world outside. I'll talk to you guys and I'll also fix my hair because oh dear. But I'll talk to you guys in a bit. We have an escape artist. Come here, bud. Now Steven isn't allowed outside. But the neighbor, uh, my upstairs landlords aren't here, so that means the dog won't come out. And he's too chicken to leave the yard, so I'm just gonna supervise him outside for a little while. Because he does love it, but he's not allowed because yeah, there's lots of coyotes and cars and things, and it's just not good. So, but let's play in the yard for a little while, Steven. I'm gonna listen to my audiobook. So, today it didn't go as planned. Um, I took Steven to the vet. And they decided he needs dental, he needs teeth cleaned, which is, I kind of knew. But Steven is a pain in the butt and won't let people take his blood um, without being sedated. So they like to do blood tests and urinalysis um, just to make sure everything's fine with him. So that turned into three hours and $400, which is great. Um, so he's fine, he's really loopy right now. Um, I thought he was gonna barf, but he hasn't barfed. Um, but while he was at the vet, I just kind of like wandered around because I didn't, I was only gonna be like two and a half hours. I didn't wanna go home. <sighs> um, so I didn't wanna go home. So I went to a couple of thrift stores and I found three books. So I will share those with you. Um, oh, and of course, when I took Stephen to the vet, thinking it was gonna be a quick in and out, I, uh, didn't bring my book with me. So all I did was listen to my audiobook, which is fine, but anyways, I even like went to the library um, and see to see if they had the book I'm currently reading and they didn't, the library doesn't have it. So I was like, oh, I can just read it at the library, but nah, no dice. Um, so the books I got at the thrift store, I got, this book is like extremely heavy, but that is Yes Please by Amy Poehler. It was on whole dollar. Um, I don't know much about Ankler. I don't watch Parks and Rec, but from what I've seen of her, like 
the interviews and stuff she seems like a funny lady and so and I like listening to um, celebrity memoirs um, if, especially if they read it and I believe she does read the audiobook of this so I got picked up that and then I got, this is kind of, might seem random, but I got a hardcover of Divergent by Veronica Roth and it's only because I have um, Insurgent? What the heck is the second book called? Insurgent? Okay, I don't know why that seems that it's wrong. And, um, oh my god. Allegiant. Jesus. I barely completely forgot about what the Divergent series. Um, I have those in hardcover and my Divergent is in paperback, so which I bought at the thrift store years ago. That's how I originally read them. And so now, because it was only because it was a dollar, I picked up a hardcover. So now that my series match. Um, and then I went to a different thrift store and I think I've mentioned this before that I, uh, I like to read Stephen King, but I never like want to buy his books full price because you can find them at like every thrift store. But I found a little paperback copy of Firestarter. This was also a dollar. I know nothing about it, but this one's not as long as some of his other books. So well, I have three, four unread Stephen King books now. So hopefully, maybe this will, I'll cap it off here before I, I buy any more and try to get some of these read. So yeah, that's kind of it. It's dinner time, I just ate. I think Stephen is cut off from food until like nine o'clock tonight, but he seems, <laughs> I'm gonna show you him because he looks ridiculous. I don't know if you can tell, but he has one eye closed. He's so mad at me. <laughs> yeah. Are you sleepy? Did they give you drugs? You shouldn't be such a bad boy then, hmm? <laughs> but yeah, whoa, that's zoomed in. Yeah, so that's my update. Today was not what I expected it to be. But at least tomorrow is Sunday. You get one more day off before heading back to the office on Monday. I will talk to you. Good morning. Oh goodness. This hair it is looking so hot. Um, it is Easter Sunday. I don't particularly celebrate Easter. Um, I did as a kid because chocolate. Um, but it's going to be a quiet day for me. So I thought I would update you on my plans for the day. Um, I just finished listening to Nemesis Games by James S. A. Corey, and of course I loved it. Um, things are getting dramatic. Um, yeah, really love this installment. Can't wait to continue on. I think I am going to take a break from listening to the series though, because I've uh, kind of gone down a hole and I haven't listened and or read a whole lot of other things. So, <laughs> um, yeah, finished, loved it. Um, I do have another audiobook from the library I need to re listen to, and that is uh, Sky Raiders. The F Five Kingdoms novel by Brandon Mull. I've read quite a few Brandon Mull books and I enjoy, I didn't really like Fablehaven, but I really liked his Beyonders series. So I'm excited to see what this one does. And then I thought today I would give myself a challenge to read these four mangas. Um, like I said, I started this, uh, the second volume of The Girl From The Other Side, but I, th I have all five, all four of the ones I haven't read yet. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to challenge myself to read all four of these today, so we'll see how we do. Um, I'm going to go out and get some um, groceries. I'm going to think I'm going to make some spaghetti tonight. Um, so I can have that for the office for the week. And yeah, that's the plan. Uh, not very exciting. I might fix my hair. I really don't want to wash it though. I'm feeling really lazy. I'm gross like that. Um, but I'll see if I can make it look mildly presentable for the grocery store. But other than that, Nobody cares. <laughs> All right, I'll check in with you guys later. All right, so I just got home from buying groceries and I bought way more groceries than I anticipated, but doesn't that just happen every time? So right now I'm gonna clean my kitchen, keep listening to Sky Raiders, a few chapters in, it's pretty fun so far. Um, Keep my kitchen, put away my groceries, start making dinner so it can get all yummy and marinated, the sauce, um, by the time dinner rolls around. And I also read finished volume two and volume three of The Girl From The Other Side. Um, they are super quick to read. They probably take me about 15 minutes of volume. So I have two more to read today, so that can definitely happen. Good evening. So, um, mission accomplished. I finished all four of these mangas. 
Um, I will say I thought it was a five issue series. It is not. It is an eight issue series. So I was very confused at the end of the fifth one of how it ended. Uh, so, but when I was updating my Goodreads and stuff, I noticed, oh, there's three more books. That makes sense. Um, I believe there's only one more that's been published thus far um, and translated into English. So I'm probably gonna get my hands on that pretty soon. But yeah, I really, really enjoy this series. It's just like the perfect blend of creepy and cute. And it's also, it's like a really super quick and atmospheric read. Um, something stops me from giving them a full five stars. I gave them all four stars. Um, like I really enjoyed them all, but they just weren't, there was something about it that I just couldn't, couldn't quite give it five, but I gave it all four and I definitely recommend this series. Um, as for my audiobook, I am halfway through uh, Sky Raiders by Brandon Mall. It's pretty fun. I definitely like it more than Fablehaven, but I don't think I like it as much as Beyond Earth. Um, curious to see how it goes, though. Um, it's, I wouldn't be surprised if I did continue on with this series. Hi, Steven. So I got, oh, I got to update you on Steven. I got the call from the vet today to say Steven's all good. His blood work came back fine and his urinalysis came back fine. Um, so now I think I just have to make an appointment to get his teeth cleaned. Yeah, cause they're still gross. And he's not gonna let me clean them, are ya? Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Pets are expensive, you know? I already, I just spent $400 to get them to tell me, oh yeah, he's fine. So now I think and I think his teeth cleaning is gonna cost another few hundred anyways. But yeah, being a responsible pet owner is important. So for you, Steven, I will spend all of my money. There is none left. Um, but yeah. So that's it for the evil oh, goodness. Ow, Steven. <laughs> God, he's a jerk sometimes. Um I think I'm gonna call it for the evening. This is the end of the vlog. This week was not a good vlogging week, so I apologize for that, but you know, I'm gonna give it to you anyways. Um, but if you, you know, want me to keep doing the vlogs, give it a thumbs up anyways, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already for more videos every single week. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome. Bye.